Good morning, everybody. A uh, little prep update. I wanted to give you guys, it's been a while since I've done one. I and mean, it feels like I've been in prep forever. And uh, uh, literally, uh, I have, I think it's been April, but there's been ups, downs in between shows where carbs went up and stuff like that. Um, so right now, I am I, I am really thinking about competing this weekend um, in the IDFA. There's a pro show in Calgary, and we've been asking for one, my wife and I, for forever. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm ready because I'm three weeks out of my WNBF pro show. So I believe this might happen, and this all depends on if my wife has our uh, baby, which is due any time now. So, uh, yikes, I mean, it's pretty freaky. We could be out there. Uh, Katrina actually might be on the judges panel, um, or she might just hang out, or she might just hang out at her parents. I don't know. We might be last second. Boom, hey, we're rushing back to Lethbridge, and I'm covered in Dream Ten. Who knows? Um, but it's open-ended, and I believe, you know, I'm ready. You know, uh, prep's going really well. Mentally there. I uh, had a good back tweak uh, about three weeks ago, deadlifting, and uh, I tweaked my back a little bit. But uh, everything's been good down. I've been managing that as, you know, that's what life throws at you. You're at a certain level, a certain step in life, and there's going to be things that want to bonk you and, and knock you off your path. But you, you can't look at it negative. You have to look at it as a, a stepping stone onto... Uh, the level you're at. I mean, the higher, like, listen to this, the higher you are in the fitness world or your job or your life or your conditioning, the more battles you're going to get to get to that next level, the more things that are thrown at you. Okay. Um, and so let's, let's kind of talk about that right now because we have a lot of people doing our Action 90 transformation program. We have a lot of people online doing project action and they're both only, well, Action 90 is about a month deep now, so four weeks. And a lot of these people are seeing some great results, tons of inches lost. Some are seeing, seeing zero. So in the project action people, I got a few emails this morning and last week. There's only they've only been at this about a week, I think, maybe just over a week. And then I get these emails and questions of I'm not seeing a result. It's a it's a week, you know. Um, so let's let's chat about that just a a, a little bit. Um, you get what you put in. So let's analyze this for the week. Say you train for a week and you've, you've never really, and you hit everything. You hit all your cardio, you hit your workouts and you know, your nutrition was meh, but at the end of the week, you look at the scale and you determine your total effort by this silly ass number that you're getting um, from a little piece of machinery and you're basing your entire effort on it. You need to look back at the week. What did you do well? You need to analyze what you did well. Okay, you hit your cardio. Did you hit it with some great intentions on the program, or did you do your own? Okay, if you did your own, now you're like, okay, well, at least I did cardio. I did my own. I didn't really see the result I wanted. Ta-da, you have something there. Or you did the prescribed cardio and you did it at a very low intensity and the positive is you did it the next week you have this information to go harder or raise the level Um, your workouts just a week and you're just learning them so you hit them all awesome now look back on it give yourself some credit there you did it you might have even not um, excuse me haven't even worked out for a week in in months, maybe years, and you just did that, that is positive. So build up yourself, and this is building up your belief, and your belief says you're going to finish this program, and you're going to do well. So create beliefs all the time. So you have the week. What's your belief in the week? You're going to believe you're going to do all these cardios 
to the best of your ability to the program and the workouts. So a lot of people just think about workouts and cardio, and that's great. That's a very small percentage of your, your total of the day. It's that time you are away, the time you're feeding yourself and recovering and getting ready for the next day, prepping. So if at the end of the week you're just bitching about your weight the whole time and not seeing anything, look back at your food now. How was your food? Did you follow the plan as prescribed? Or did you skip something because you thought you should have skipped something and not follow a plan that's been written for you? Or did you, this happens with everybody, did you have rounded this and an additional tablespoon of peanut butter, another um, bowl of cereal, you know, that's not on the plan. Did you do that? This isn't bad information. This is very good information. You need to keep a journal. You need to track. I really like it when people track. I track everything because I look back on the week and it's the week's averages and the week's info that's going to get you to the next level. So let's say you had that extra bowl of cereal or you had three tablespoons of peanut butter. Um, you look at the week and be like, okay, I did this. I, I'm responsible for that. What if I took a little bit of that away? Half. You know, you're improving the following week, right? Or just hit the program as prescribed. And if you do that, you're going to get the information from the prescribed program. And we've had people have their weight stay stable for weeks to months, but they drop like 15 to 20 to something inches because you're in body recomposition. You're losing fat and gaining muscle mass. You know, muscle takes up less space, so you're dropping inches, but your weight can stay the same. And so stop looking at the damn scale and having that your your judge, jury, and executioner of, of everything you do, it's a fucking waste of time. Can you use it as a tool? Sure. But don't base it on your your effort of your week. I mean, if you just did something, if anyone's seen me, and I do my cardio at home now and, and outdoors, I barely ever do it in the gym anymore, but I actually pat myself on the frickin' back when I'm done. If I do a deep-ass set of squats and my heart is out of my chest... I give myself credit. I don't, I'm, I train by myself, so who's going to do that for me? You know, I'm a guy who doesn't get the, that pat on the back. I don't have the training partner. I don't, I don't do that. I like being in the zone and, and killing it. So look at the week's info. Write it down. That's why you track. If you don't want to track, then you better be damn well happy with what you're doing. If you're not going to put in the effort at home then you better be happy with what you're doing. Don't come in and blame it on the program. Don't come in and blame it on me or blame it on the coach. Take fucking responsibility on yourself and say, I did this. This is good information. How can I get to the next level with that information? Okay? And now to close, I want to talk about distractions. There's this thing called the drug of distractions. And I was the king of this um, prior to working out and while working out. Like a drug of distraction is food, alcohol, TV. You know, these are distracting you. And they're drugs because they're masking what your goals are. Okay, you're creating a distraction, an excuse to fall off the wagon. You know, like so many people hate freaking cardio and they can't, don't want, they make hear this negative shit talk. They talk to themselves before it's even happening. You're just, that's a, that's a distraction. You're distracting your mindset. Okay. You should be thinking about, I got this cardio come, I'm going to kill it. That was me this morning. It's a part of my plan. I'm not, I don't dread it. I want it. Because it's going to work. It is it's opportunity. I've talked about this in my other videos. That is an opportunity, opportunity for me to get to my next level, to my next step. But if you're using these drugs of distractions and, 
and, and you put it off, put it off, put it off. Oh, I was at a birthday party. I, I, I did this. Oh, my friend and I went out for coffee, so I decided to put all the sugar in my coffee and have this and have that. You're distracting yourself from your own goals, and you're not taking responsibility. Um, and there, there could be other areas in that. Uh, me with alcohol, drugs before. I mean, these distracted a mental state that I was in, um, you know, I, I was just plain and simple lost in my life, looking for something, I don't know what I was looking for, Accept, acceptance, love, I don't know, and uh, I distracted myself with these, and I look back on it now, and I learn on it every day, so when you guys are doing this, and you're banging out 17 episodes of something on Netflix, and you haven't done your work, you haven't prepped, you haven't tracked, you haven't done shit. You're distracting yourself from where you need to be. That You're not using opportunity. So do, you better be okay with that, right? I plan it. Yesterday, my total day off, I prepped all my food. We got ready. I just chilled out. I watched a couple movies. I answered some emails. You know, this was my day. I planned that day, and it was fantastic. I feel great today. It's planned, okay? So let's cut it off here. Be responsible for your actions, get focused, work, use the week's knowledge to help you get to the next level. If you're not putting in work, you better be responsible for that. You know, if you're doing your cardio and answering your phone mid-cardio, if you're hanging on the rails doing your cardio, if you're not hitting your work sets to the best of your ability or your prescribed rate of perceived exertion, or you're just flying through your workouts just because... Or you just hired me just because, you know? Yeah, I'm working with Chad. And then you, you never check in. You don't do this. You just, sorry, now I'm ranting. That pisses me off to no end. You check in, you check in. No matter what. You had a bad week, you fucking check in. Don't give me a novel. Just say, you know what? I'm going to be better next time. I, I, but if there's something bugging you, I'm, I need to know. So does every coach. Okay, but you got to be responsible for what you do. All right, peace. Have a good week.